Welcome to Get Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to cover the summing amplifier. So this is the formula of a summing amplifier. Your output will be the sum of the feedback resistor divided by the first input resistor, let's call it Rn1, multiplied by its voltage, plus, so this can go on and on and on, just that for this example, we're going to stop at three. Right. So you can add multiple voltages, so that should be two. This over here should be two, right? So you have voltage connected to each path, and along that path, you have a specific resistor. So that is the resistor that actually divides the feedback resistor. And as you can see, the feedback resistor is the same throughout. So now let's erase this and start building our circuit. So first of all, we're going to take our op amp, suppress F2, Type OP, take OP07, take a resistor, rotate it, place it there. That will be our first divider or the first resistor along the path. Take another one and the last one. Let's place it there. You're going to have a feedback resistor as we saw. So let's place it up there. And all of these things are connected to the negative terminal. So first of all, let's just connect each of these. So let me do that properly. F9 to undo. And F3 again to get the wire. Okay. Then I'm going to take that point there. And if I want to make it neat, I can just press escape now. Then shift this downwards. So F7 to select a component. And F3 to connect that. Then I'm going to connect this top thing as well it's a bit too far so let's just bring it closer so i'm going to stop there press escape f7 take that bring it there f3 again to connect these and we are almost done all that's left is to connect this point here to ground then connect each of these sides to an input voltage. So let's take a voltage source by pressing V, rotate it so that it's in this direction, place it there, place another one there, another one there. Connect these things using wires. Then press G to ground all of them. So this is one way you can do it or you can just do this method, which we use to power our op amp, right? So you don't necessarily have to put them there. You can just have them separately as well, just like how we power the op amp. So you just have two more voltage sources, ground them, press F4 to assign labels to them. You can do the same to those inputs as well. But let's just keep it like this for now. So if you press F4, V, then type V plus, Place that there. Then F4 again, type V minus, and place that there. Right click on your voltage source, give it a value of 5 volts, give the other one a value of minus 5 volts. Copy these by pressing Ctrl C, copy the label, move it to the positive terminal or the positive power of your op amp, copy the other one by just clicking the label, and place it on the negative side. Press Escape. Then let's assign values to each of these things. So now, what do we want to do? We really have to uh, look out for this point or this part where we have to decide what values we want. And we have to keep our values within the range minus five to five because those are the lower and upper bounds of what our output can be. So, okay. If we now want to get the output as, let's say three, we can assign the voltage values to one. So assign all of them to one. And if we do that, remembering the formula, then that essentially means that we just have this. Rf divided by Rn2 plus Rf divided by Rn3. And all that we have to do to get three is to make all of these ratios one, so that we just have three, one plus one plus one. So the feedback is the same in each of those terms. So let's just assign it to one, okay? 
And if you assign all of these to one k as well, and that would mean the feedback one k would be divided by each of these one k's, which you just produce one. So it's one plus one plus one. And that is because all of these are set to one volt. So one volt multiplied by the ratio, which is just one for all of them. And we just have three. So that is what we expect at the output. We combined all of these using the summing amplifier formula and expect our output to follow that route. So now if you can simulate edit CMD, let's say 100 micro, place it anywhere, then run our simulation. Let's now check the output. So the output, you can see that we have negative three. And that negative three comes from the formula, which I forgot to place. So I should have placed a negative in the formula. So the actual formula is V out equals minus, then you have all of those things which we discussed. And that is, that makes sense because this is connected to the negative terminal. And if you analyze this circuit to find a V out, which we haven't labeled, but you can just label that a four V out. So if you want to calculate what a V out is, most textbooks do that, we can just do that by yourself. Then you should be able to see that this negative actually plays a role in that. So in this video, I showed you how to build a summing amplifier. And this is how you'd essentially do it. Just design your circuit such, such that the output is within your power supply or the range that your lower bound and upper bound of the supply actually provides. And this is essentially how you do it. So I hope the video is useful and I hope you could follow along. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.